Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science 2, it's Mike Chen. When we think of celebrities, genius is probably a word that doesn't cross our minds too often. I mean, sure, actors have the uncanny ability to remember incredible amounts of lines, but Joey Tribbiani could do that. And maybe it's because some of the most prominent celebrities paraded in front of us right now don't seem like the sharpest tools in the box, more like a clown short of a circus. But there are some celebrities out there that challenges this stereotype. So here are nine celebrities that are actually geniuses. Number one, Matt Damon. This guy played a lot of geniuses in the movies and he's pretty smart as well. Matt was born in Cambridge, Massachusetts and had a passion for acting at a young age. He got into Harvard University as an English major, but he was constantly preoccupied with what he loved acting. And he left before receiving his degree to take a lead role in the film Geronimo in American Legend. Of course, his career really took off when he wrote and starred in the 1997 Goodwill Hunting with his best friend Ben Affleck. And ever since then, he has been a Hollywood was superstar. In 2013, he was even awarded the Harvard Arts Medal, and his IQ is 135. Number 8, Natalie Portman. Known for her role in The Black Swan, Natalie Portman is an actress who was born in Jerusalem and moved to the U.S. in 1984. She also attended Harvard and was a research assistant for a famous law professor there. When she was given a choice between an acting career and college, she said that she would rather be smart than be a movie star. Turns out she was able to obtain the best of both worlds. That shouldn't be a surprise when you have an IQ of 140. Number 7, Nicole Kidman. Nicole is known as one of the smartest women in Hollywood. Her father was a biochemist and clinical psychologist, while her mother was a nursing instructor and book editor. And their good genes probably contributed to her 142 IQ. Number 6, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This might come as a surprise to most of you because it was to me. Not only does Arnold have the brawn, he also has the brains. Born in July 30th, 1947, this former Mr. Universe never attended college but has a high IQ of 144. Right after high school, he got into bodybuilding and not too long after, he became an actor, then proceeded to be a director, producer, and even a three-term governor of California. Number 5, Coco Conan O'Brien. This guy might come off as a goof, but he is extremely intelligent with an IQ of 160. He also attended Harvard and was the president of the Harvard Lapoon, an undergraduate humor publication. He wrote for SNL as well as The Simpsons and later of course got his own TV show. Number 6, Blossom Mayum Bialik. Mayum born in San Diego, California on December 12, 1975, plays one of my favorite characters from The Big Bang Theory, Amy Fowler. Like her character in the TV series, Mayum really is a neuroscientist who was accepted to both Harvard and Yale. She didn't attend either of the schools and decided instead to go to UCLA where she obtained a PhD in neuroscience. Since her debut on CBS's Big Bang Theory, Mayum has been nominated four times for Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series and won a Critics' Choice TV Award for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Her IQ is an unbelievable 163. Number 3, James Woods. Known as the celebrity with the highest IQ to date, Woods is a Golden Globe and Emmy Award winning actor who has an IQ of, get this, 100. And 80. He's basically one of the 100 smartest people in the history of the US. Before starting his acting career, Woods aced his ACTs and went to MIT. He then left MIT to pursue acting. There has been some questions raised about whether James really does have an IQ of 180, but uh, let's just say he does. Because celebrities, they really need this win. Number two, Nolan Gold. This young star makes everyone feel bad because he's already so smart at such a young age. Nolan was born in New York City on October 28th, 1998, and is part of one of the most popular sitcoms on TV. The modern Family. He began his acting career at age 3, which is amazing because at age 3, I was like sucking on thumbs and have trouble walking. After winning multiple Emmys with his castmates, Nolan is now one of Hollywood's most successful young stars. Not only that, he has an IQ of 150. Number 1, Rowan Atkinson. Now we all know Mr. Bean, the child in a grown man's body. Now Atkinson is nothing like the character he plays in his British sitcom. While studying at Oxford, Atkinson began writing the script for Mr. Bean, which became so popular that it has been sold in 245 
territories worldwide and has inspired an animated cartoon spinoff, two feature films, and an appearance at the London 2012 Summer Olympic opening ceremony. Atkinson may have played one of the dumbest characters ever, but in real life, his IQ is an astonishing 178, which makes him one of the smartest celebrities, well, actually, one of the smartest people in the world. Of course, just looking at him, you would never know. But I'll tell you guys, I have a deep found respect for actors because um, for certain shows that I do on YouTube, I have to memorize certain lines and literally just remembering one single line is it's so immensely difficult. I don't know how these people, they just remember like these scenes that just go out there and say them flawlessly. Don't think I could ever do that. So really a lot of respect for actors out there. I don't have a lot of respect for reality stars, but definitely for true actors. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. See ya.